Uh, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from the 15th to the 21st of November. This is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Libra, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so Libra, your challenge here is the Eight of Wands. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Two of Cups in reverse. Okay, so your challenge here is the Eight of Wands. I feel like your challenge here has a lot to do with some sort of news that you're going to receive. Um, it may not be the greatest news. It is coming in very quickly. We're going to find out more about what this means for you in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the Knight of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. So it looks like in the recent past, there was some sort of situation in your life that was moving extremely slow. This could have been a love offer. Maybe somebody wanted to offer you love here in the recent past. I feel like because the situation wasn't really moving as quick as you wanted it to, Libra, it started to cause you a lot of pain. And you started to feel in the past like um, you've been through so much. It's like you've been through so many um, experiences that didn't work out that failed 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 over and over again so a lot of you started to feel maybe like okay well if this situation isn't moving fast enough then maybe what happened in the past is what's gonna happen again okay so there was a bit of an assumption here in the past um, you know when it came to your love your love life in the past we're gonna find out more when we clarify now in the present moment you have the king of Pentacles the ten of cups and the Empress what I find really interesting in the present moment is a lot of you are going to be um, meeting somebody who's really stable, okay? King of Pentacles, this is somebody who could be coming in and making you, you know, a very significant offer that can possibly lead to a lot of happiness, okay? This may be even, you know, happening for you in the present moment. So we're going to find out more when we clarify. Now, in the near future, you have the Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups, very beautiful energy here in the near future for you. I feel like you are going to finally um, meet somebody new here. Okay. And this is somebody who, again, I'm getting earth energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. This is somebody who really grounds you. Um, and they pour a lot of love onto you here with the Ace of Cups. So we're going to find out more about this new opportunity. It could also be a job opportunity I'm seeing here, new love. Uh, we're going to find out when we clarify. Now, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, uh, Libra, you have the Two of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the King of Swords, the Moon, the Page of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords in reverse. Okay, so what you don't see coming is the fact that a situation that has created a lot of anxiety and fear for you is finally going to be coming to an end. I feel like it has already come to an end. You've put something behind you. I feel like a lot of you found out some sort of truth, okay, when it came to a specific um, situation in your life. And as a result of you finding out some sort of truth, you decided to withdraw yourself from a specific person. Could have been another air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, okay? So I feel like you found something out um, that really affected your relationship. And as a result of that, a lot of you disengaged. For others of you, you decided to um, not take an offer. Somebody here may have offered you something and you may have said, not for me. Um, it's just not good enough for me is what I'm seeing. So what you don't see coming is the fact that you're finally releasing this anxiety, stress, and fear when it comes to love and just people in, a, in general, okay? So this is what I'm seeing here. Now let's get into your reading, Libra, and let's see what's going on for you. Let's clarify your challenge. Okay. 
So the Eight of Wands, which is your challenge, is clarified by the Hanged Man, the Four of Cups, and the Three of Swords. So Libra, your challenge here has a lot to do with some sort of communication coming in from somebody here. Either you're communicating this or someone's communicating this to you. They're really tired of this waiting game, okay? There's something here about waiting all the time. Um, you know, somebody here wants to offer you love and they're saying, look, I really want to offer you love. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could also be an, uh, an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This person is still hurt, okay? They're still hurt over the fact that um, they're trying to offer you love. You may not be interested. You may, you know, be taking your time here. Now, if this isn't you, it could be your person, but I'm really strongly getting your person's communicating this with you. And they're letting you know, you know, I want things to move forward. I don't want to be in pain anymore. For some of you, there was some sort of incident that happened between you and this person and it was never really resolved. And a lot of you tried to just, you know, go on with things as if nothing happened. And it's like, no, we need to talk about this. We need to talk about the pain that was caused. We need to talk about, you know, why things haven't been moving. We need to talk about why this relationship is stagnating. So there's something here that still needs to be resolved between you and this person is what I'm getting. And that may be challenging for you. Remember how I was saying, you know, when I picked up the eight of wands, I said, this may be challenging news and look all these cards are not they're not the greatest cards that came out so someone here wants to talk about something here that needs to be resolved with you that really was never resolved okay so this is what i'm seeing as your challenge now let's talk about the recent past uh in the recent past it looks like someone here was moving really slowly tell me more about the knight of pentacles So the Knight of Pentacles is clarified by the Seven of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Two of Swords. So a lot of you started to close off from a specific person here in the past that you were um, maybe wanting to be with because they were taking too long. So there started to become resistance, okay? Um, and a lot of you felt like, oh, well, maybe they don't care about me. Maybe they don't really like me. Maybe they don't really want me. A lot of you felt beaten down in the past when it came to love. You know, you constantly gave people chances. You know, things stopped working. Things didn't work out for you. So there was a lot of uh, uncertainty here because you and this person weren't on the same page when it came to, you know, how quickly this situation should, should have moved forward or how slowly it should have went, right? And as a result of that, it caused you a lot of pain and you started to withdraw. Now, in the present moment, it looks like there is a, possibly a new opportunity. I don't know, we're gonna clarify and see. There's something here that is really stable that's coming into your life with the King of Pentacles. And it looks like it's gonna lead to possibly a lot of growth with the Empress. Tell me more about the King of Pentacles for Libra in the present moment. So the King of Pentacles is clarified by the Sun, the Three of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. So it looks like in the present moment there is a love offer that's coming in. Um, I feel like this is something that may be somewhat casual right now or maybe somewhat on and off, but it looks like it's going to lead to a lot of happiness. If you're open to really cooperating and working with this person, I feel that this situation can bring a lot of happiness, warmth, and positivity into your life. And of course, we see the Ten of Cups here, so there is a possibility for fulfillment. Tell me more about the Ten of Cups. So the Ten of Cups is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. Wow, Libra. So whatever is happening in the present moment, it looks like it's really positive for you. I feel like whatever the situation is, um, you should definitely be open to this because whatever it is, it's going to lead to a lot of success for you. I see a lot of financial abundance for you in the present moment as well as happiness. And it's basically coming from somebody here who's bringing you and giving you the support that you need. Because this person's coming into your life, Libra, and they're giving you the support that you need, they're supporting you, loving you, um, it looks like that's what's going to lead to the growth that you're seeking okay some of you could be pregnant or you could be around somebody who's pregnant in the present moment tell me more about the empress
So the Empress is clarified by the Queen of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Wheel of Fortune. Although this situation seems very beautiful for you in the present moment, Libra, a lot of you are still in your head about it, okay? Or this person can be in their head about it. I don't feel like it's your person, though. I feel like your person's coming in. They're wanting to offer you love. Um, but at the same time, there may be some sort of uncertainty coming from you. I'm getting that you're in the Hermit energy right now, okay? There's like a Hermit um vibe here that I'm getting okay so it looks like some sort of change is happening for you in the present moment and it's leading to growth it's leading to something stable and solid but you're also in your head about it okay so uh let's talk about the near future now in the near future there is going to be tons of abundance coming into your life I'm seeing new love I'm seeing a new job opportunity I'm seeing new projects for you tell me more about the ace of cups in the near future for Libra Okay, so the Ace of Cups is clarified by the King of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Six of Pentacles. I'm going to tell you something right now, okay? First of all, your reading's really positive, which is super rare, okay? To see a, a, a super, super positive reading um, is super rare. So in the near future, you have a brand new offer of love that's coming in. I feel like this situation that you're going to be entering into in the near future is going to lead to a lot of stability for you. Some of you may even find yourself marrying this person. I feel like this new relationship, this new connection that's coming into your life is gonna be very stable. It's gonna be very solid. There's gonna be a lot of cooperation here. There is a new opportunity in the near future, financially, that's coming in for you. Tell me more about the Ace of Pentacles for Libra. So the Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the Four of Swords. You have the Devil and the Fool. So there is going to be an opportunity here to heal from someone here that was really toxic, that really, really affected you. Could have been a Capricorn here, maybe an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And what I'm seeing here is there's going to be a new opportunity. But you also have to be open to taking the risk, okay? So even though there's something beautiful that's here for you, Libra, some of you may not take the risk. Some of you just may be like, nope, it's not for me. Um, but I don't see that happening. I see you being open. I see you cooperating with this because whoever these people are, it doesn't have to be one specific person. It could be a group of people or a certain number of people that really help you move out of this place of you know, not believing in life, not believing in love, not believing that, you know, you could have a second chance in love or not believing that things can work out for you. I'm really seeing that you're finally meeting the people that are really going to support you to move to the next level that, that it is that you want. Okay. So let's get some advice for you. What is the advice? Okay, so Libra, the advice for you is the Nine of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, and the Moon. Okay, so the advice here is, is that although you don't know 100% about a situation that you um, want to get involved in, first of all, I have to say this, a lot of you are going through a major ending, okay? There's something that's going to end here that's going to close out for you, and it's causing you a lot of fear and anxiety and stress. But the advice here for you is, is that even if you don't understand a situation or know or you feel like something's being hidden from you, there's something here about taking action towards a new opportunity, okay? Trying not to wallow in some sort of situation that you have absolutely no control over. It's there, There's something in your life where you have absolutely no control over and um, instead of allowing it to affect you and cause stress and anxiety, the advice here is, is to look for an opportunity, okay? Look for an opportunity that maybe um, you're not used to looking for or that you're not used to picking or choosing and as a result of you doing that it's really going to counteract this energy of not knowing what's going to happen in the future not knowing having this fear and anxiety by taking action you can counteract the anxiety and fear that you have surrounding a situation that you don't completely understand at this time okay so Libra this is what I have for you I hope this reading helped thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one